Hi there, this is Mike from Press to Mic and I'm back with another Luminar 2018 how to created just for you. In my last video, I asked you if you could replace a sky using Luminar 2018 for Windows and concluded that we couldn't possibly do it. But here's an update to it. While Skylum still works hard at getting the updates across to us, I'm going to show you how you can replace a sky in a photo using this hidden workaround. Let's get started. First things first, let's open our image. I got one from Pixabay and it's a beauty right out of the box. It's just that I don't like the plain blue sky and I want to add some drama into the frame. I'm not going to make any changes to this image. So let's jump right back in and open our second image, the sky. The image opens up right on top of our existing image in its dimensions. To see where to place our image, uh, that's because we want to move the sky into position, let's lower the opacity. Now all we have to do is move the clouds into place, right? How do we do that? If you watch my other tutorial, you might have understood that this is the root cause for sky replacement failure, but not so today. Let's add a filter from the essential set. Click on add filters. Select the develop filter. Notice there are three tabs in this filter. We normally use just the first one, adjust. But for this exercise, we're gonna click on the transform tab, the third one. Did you notice that? We are presented with seven transformation tools in this section. It's pretty straightforward if you get the hang of it. Just follow a graph style to understand the axis. Use the offset sliders. Any movement to the positive side moves the image either up or to the right. Sliding to the negative side will move the image either down or to the left. Vertical and horizontal sliders move the image to the angles vertically or horizontally. Rotate and aspect do just what they imply. Let's use the sliders to position our image now. Now let's add a mask. I'm going to use the brush mask. Select the brush icon next to the layer name. Choose the first option that's brush. With the proper brush size selected, brush the area where you want the sky to show up. You can reduce or increase the brush size using the square bracket keys. Go back to the opacity slider and increase it to the point where you think the sky matches the foreground. And now the last thing that we're gonna do to make the photo look more realistic is to add a photo filter. We do this by creating a new adjustment layer. Selecting the photo filter, you'll find it under the professional filter set. Adjust the sliders to your liking. That's it! You've successfully replaced a sky in an image. Easy, right? The secret here is to use the Transform tab. Note, the Transform tool will be available very soon in an upcoming update to the software. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep watching, learning and trying. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.